Steph, thank you very much for speaking to Metro.co.uk about your very exciting return to Hollyoaks. How thrilled are you to be back and what's it been like filming? It's been amazing. I'm really happy to be back, obviously, with all my friends and the cast and not just that, the crew. And seeing everyone in the canteen, down to the directors, it's been like I've just gone home. So I'm very grateful and um, it's so amazing to go back and, and pick up my character, who was fantastic, you know what I mean, and give her the justice she deserves. And um, when you first left, were you of the thought that that's it for the character? Did you did you ever expect that you'd be playing Sinead again, or has it all come as a bit of a surprise to you? No, I did. Do you know what? It's funny because I was saying this to Brian. I never thought about it for ages, but obviously I wasn't in a good place to be thinking about that. And then one morning, I literally, I think everything happens for a reason. I just woke up. And I thought, I'm gonna go back to Hollyoaks. You know, missing acting, doing what I love. So I messaged Brian, and I was like. You know what, I'm going to come back, what do you think? And he was like, I'll meet you for lunch. So I did. And he was already speaking to my agent. And my agent didn't tell me because he wanted to surprise me too. And they both just said. And I was like, what? And they were like, come back. And it was really emotional because, you know, he knows the, the journey I've been through and the struggle. And it was, we both got really emotional because, you know, he's known me for a long time. And, and, um, yeah, then we were just both overjoyed for me to be coming back. It was it was a lovely day. I felt quite emotional um, after watching it before. I felt just full of gratitude. It's just like an overwhelming tears of happiness. I was getting tears of happiness. That's what it was. So I was like, why am I crying? But it was because I was happy. Yeah. And, and I mean, what a return it is. I mean, very few characters return to a soap, have a bunk up in the back of a taxi and then get almost obliterated by a tornado. When you read that return, you were just like, yes, I'm not just coming back. I don't ever keep saying she's back, she's back. I thought I need that slogan on me, she's back. Yeah, no, it was brilliant entrance back and the writers and everyone that done it. It was very cleverly done, you know, a little bit of Dorothy in there because obviously did Over the Rainbow and BBC One before it came back to um, Hollyoaks and he put that in there. So it was brilliant, it was really clever and um, it, was, it was like doing a full circle, you know what I mean, starting afresh again. And of course, tornadoes come and go, but Sinead's a storm within herself, really. So what can you and what can you tease is coming up for her? We know she's got a bit of a backstory on where she's been. She's obviously got some people who are going to follow her to the village. But what can you tell us about that? But also, what else might be coming up for her? Um, but what else might be coming up for her? Obviously, um, she gets with Sammy in the car on the way back, and I've like, seen two. And, um, but she has a reason for doing that, and it turns out she's married to Kyle Pryor, who was in Home and, the, Home and Away, um, who plays Laurie. He's my husband, I'm actually married. So, yeah. <laughs> Some things don't change with Sinead. And she comes back, he comes back on the show with Hannah when he catches Sinead up to something. So, and then it all unravels, everything slowly but surely, yeah. Very dramatic. And you, you mentioned before that she might cross paths with Sienna, who is recently herself turned over a new leaf as a kind of a different character. What can you say about that? I know it's a, a little while off. You probably have to keep your mouth yeah, zipped a bit. I can't say too much. But um, our storylines will eventually come together and then explode. It's the two very big characters. What's it like working with Anna? She's, had, had you had many scenes with Anna before? You had no, your cross no, path? No, not really. We had the odd one, but I've had a few since I've been back with her. And it's been good, yeah. And, um, and what, what's it like being back in with the cast? Because a lot of people say like soaps are a big family and things, but there's always tittle tattle goes on in like in press and things. Is it genuinely really nice to be back and everyone's been really supportive? Yeah, everyone is just, to be honest, I've had a lot of respect off people for what I've gone through and to come out the other end, you know. And I think because I'm a single mum as well, and you know how hot because his dad hasn't seen him since he was five months old and so since then because I've done it on my own a lot of them are parents now like I said before Alex, Kim so they know how hard it's been for me so they're just like take me out off you know you've admitted I had a problem and I did something about it Having come through that, that journey come be, after everything you've been through you're now back where you belong back, at, back home in Hollyoaks how are you feeling in yourself now? Peaceful Calm and just I like me, oh, yeah. oh, which nice. I never did. Yeah. So I'm comfortable with me, and it's actually a really nice place to be. Mm. Where I'm at right now, um, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. We can't wait to see what's coming up. So those episodes are incredible. So I'm sure it's going to be absolutely incredible. How would you sum up 
what to come up with Sinead maybe in a sentence or a few words what can viewers expect um, um, a lot of to and and froing um, and a lot of peacemaking and, and, and arguments with Steve because she has to sort all that out with him yeah, a lot of bridges. Thank you so much for speaking to us. I really, really appreciate it.